Yeah, 20 yeah. elections. You say you have all this ev evidence that yep. it was rigged. Why haven't you put this evidence in a consumable I did. form? And what? Oh, I did. I have I have books on it. And and by the way, books have been written on it. We have an author named Hemingway who is a great writer. She wrote a book on it, but many books have been written on it. There are books that are what's happened is judges don't want to touch it. They would say you don't have standing. They didn't rule on the merits. They ruled the merits never got there. The judges didn't have what it took to turn over an election. Let's let's talk about the potential vulnerabilities for elections and election fraud. One of them is mail-in ballots. The other one is the uh, if someone can break into voting machines. If someone can both, hack both voting machines. Crew. Those are two huge ones. So and Elon, what, what Elon can be Musk. Done? Elon yeah. Musk, I think he said it publicly. I hope he did because I, I wouldn't want to be the one. But he's a really smart guy. And he's a very good guy with computers, right? You'd say he's... He's one people. of the smartest people alive. Anybody that can land that 20-story yeah. building and perfect and boom. While he's doing Starlink, while and he's, while doing he's Tesla, talking to me about while he owns Twitter. And then yeah. he agrees to Starlink. And, and he tweets 100 times a day. He's an amazing guy. So you're, you're in there. You have 10,000 appointments you have to make. Like... So you're getting advice from people, and it w at one point in time, did you have a moment in time where you realized, like, uh, these are bad choices, like some of these people I shouldn't have had in there? Oh, yeah. I think, so the one question that you'll ask me, that I think you'll ask me, that se people seem to ask, and I always come up with the same answer, uh, If I, I, the one mistake, because I, I had a lot of success, great economy, great everything, everything was great, we would the military re rebuilt it biggest tax cuts in history all this stuff we did we had a great presidency uh, three Supreme Court justices most people get none you know you pick them young this mm -hmm. way they're there for 50 years right? right so you know even if a president is there for eight years oftentimes they never have a chance I had three it was sort of the luck of the draw but uh, I, I will say that it always comes back to the same answer the biggest mistake I made was I picked some people. I picked some great people, you know, but you don't think about that. I picked some people that I shouldn't have picked. I picked a few people that I shouldn't have picked. And neocons, well, huge impact. Young people are rejecting a lot of this woke bullshit. Yeah, young people are. are tired of being yelled at and scolded. They're they're tired of these people that they think are mentally ill telling them what the moral standards yeah, of society right. should be today. And people are upset. It's a big. There's a big difference now. But even in just a couple of years, I was shaking hands with people. They're young people. The rebels are Republicans now. So like you yeah, want to be a rebel, you want to be punk you're rock, you want to like yeah. buck the system. You're yeah. a conservative now. That's the, mm -hmm. that's how crazy. And then the liberals are now pro pro silencing criticism. They're they're pro censorship online. They're they're talking they about regulating them. free speech and they're regulating the First Amendment. It's bananas to watch. Joe, they come after their political opponent. Well, they I do. got more guys. I always say, you know, I kid, but it, I'm not kidding. I've been investigated more than Alphonse Capone. He was the meanest of them all. He'd kill you in two seconds if he didn't like you, right? I've been under investigation more than Alphonse Capone, only because it's political opponent stuff. And I've won. I won the big case in Florida. I, I'm winning the other stuff. But it was the episode of you when you're on The View. And I think it was 2015 or 2006, like when you were running for president. Right. And you sat, you got introduced as our friend Donald Trump. That's right. Whoopi Goldberg gives you a big hug and a kiss. Joy Behar gives you a big hug. Barbara Walters gives you a big hug. They all loved you. They were all talking about how you're, uh, you, you might be... You might be conservative in your financial positions, but you're very liberal socially. They were they were talking about you in such a favorable yeah. light. The audience was cheering, and then you actually started winning in the polls, and then the machine started working towards you. Yeah, but it's there's probably no one in history that I've ever seen that's been attacked the way you've been attacked and the way they've done it so coordinated and systematically. One of the things that I want to talk to you about is the JFK files. And one of the things that you said was that if they showed you what they showed me, this is your quote, you wouldn't want people to know it either. 
Um, so I, I opened them up partially. I was met with, from good people, I mean, you know, look, I mean, good people. People that were well-meaning. Mike Pompeo was one of them. He's a good person. Uh, they called me, they said, sir, would rather have you not. After, and I did open them, but I was asked by some people not to open them. There's a Martin Luther King file too, by the way, that they'd like to see. I don't know if you know, but there is that. But, but JFK in particular. So they called me, a lot of good people called me, people that I, you know, that you would find reasonable people. And they asked me not to do it. So I said, well, we'll close it for another time. But if I win, I'm going to open them up. I only get bad press. Now, I will say this. It's a lot easier if you're a Democrat. If I were a Democrat... You'd get a lot of positive press. I would get a lot of positive yeah. press. Yeah. No, it's a, it's a creepy, corrupt business. And the, the media, to a large extent, acts as a propaganda arm for the Democratic uh, Party. It's not, it's not even believable. Yeah. It's believe, I mean, it's bizarre to watch. And mo you know, most young people, I think, are aware of it. I think most boomers still, unfortunately, read the newspapers and believe in CNN. But it's and, getting younger. Uh, yes. Let me tell you, it's getting for us, for a conservative. Yes. And you know, I don't but you know even, why I consider is? myself it's a person. It's the internet. It's because the internet's giving so. people information that they're not getting from anywhere else. And they like the, the very fine people hoax, the Russia Gate hoax, all these different things that they've done. They tried to pin on you. That's like it's a clear distortion of what you actually said. The bloodbath hoax. Yeah, I was talking about yes. the auto industry. Yes. It's yes. a bloodbath because Japan and, and China are taking our auto. And yes. I said, it's a bloodbath. They said, oh, he used the word bloodbath. You, you said know, if you, you think don't of win, somebody, it's going to be a bloodbath that's because right, they're going to take right. over. It's, that's exactly it's a what you terrible said. thing they do. But that's the problem with propagandists because they take things out of context. Their intelligence Well, is look insulted. at the ratings. Yes. You know, shows like yours. So I have a son who's very smart and tall, Baron, right? And... He knows all about you. He knows about guys I never heard of. He said, Dad, you don't know how big they are. They're big. You know, he told me how big. I said, who the hell is he? <laughs> like Ross. I did. He said, Dad, he's a great guy. I mean, guys that are doing, it's a whole new world out there. It's a different world. And but, you I know, think I'm, I'm on TikTok now. Congratulations. And I've done really well. <laughs> no, but you know the crazy, have you seen the numbers? I've, uh, billions, like Billions of hits. It's crazy. I'm sure. TikTok's a wild application, And I've though. gone up 30 points. A Republican is always down 30 with young mm -hmm. people. I'm plus 30. And I'm on TikTok. I think young it's people, had a huge impact. Young people are rejecting a lot of this woke bullshit. Yeah, young people are. are tired of being yelled at and scolded. They're, they're tired of these people that they think are mentally ill telling them what the moral standards yeah, of society right. should be today. And people are upset. It's a big... Russia would have never gone into Ukraine if I were president. How would you have stopped it? Uh, he, automatic. Two things. I told him. I said, Vladimir, you're not going in. I used to talk to him all the time. You're not going in. I can't tell you what I told him, because I think it would be inappropriate, but someday he'll tell you. But he would have never gone in. But you know why else he wouldn't have gone in? Oil prices at $40 a barrel wouldn't have allowed him, wouldn't have given him the money to prosecute that war. Wouldn't have given him the money. I said it with President... I was with President Xi. I said it was almost the same conversation. With Vladimir, it was Moscow. With President Xi, it was Beijing. It was almost the exact same conversation. I said, don't do it. He would have never done it. The day I left, they flew 28 bombers over the middle of Taiwan. 28 bombers. And it's the apple of his eye, and the same thing with Russia. It's the apple. Ukraine is the apple of his eye. I used to talk to him. I had a very good relationship with him. He wouldn't have done it. He would have never done it. They were, they were talking about you in such a favorable yeah. light. The audience was cheering. And then you actually started winning in the polls, and then the machine started working towards you. Yeah. But it's, there's probably no one in history that I've ever seen that's been attacked the way you've been attacked, and the way they've done it, so coordinated and systematically. When you see those same people in the past, very favorable to you, like Oprah, when you were on Oprah's yeah, show. Very. She was encouraging you to Last be week, I did one of her last shows, I think. Maybe Thursday or Friday, that was a big deal, being on Oprah's show, the last one. And I was like one of the last shows in that last, that final week. And I said, boy, we've come a long way since, <laughs> since that. What was and it like? 
uh, well, yeah, the concept, it was really like two different lives. You know, I had a, a very wonderful life, but I, I wanted to do this. The Apprentice was still going very strong. We had 12 seasons, and uh, we had actually uh, 14 seasons, 12 years over. We, they had a couple well, of Well, they them. canceled The Apprentice when you were running for president, correct? No, they had Arnold Schwarzenegger do it. I was involved in that, and I, want, I, I had enough of it, and we did great. It was doing great, but... They wanted me to stay. They all came to see me. Never has there been an economy like And you this. attribute that to lowering taxes yeah, a lot and of tariffs. It. And also I cut regulations more than anybody else. And if I, I asked many of the businessmen, you know, from the big companies, you know, the guys running the big companies, I'd say, so if you had your choice, you've had it now for a long time, what's more important to you, the tax cuts, you paid less tax, or the regulation cuts? Every one of them said the regulation cuts meant more. Who would think that, right? Because you don't equate it to dollars, but it actually is more dollars. Um, we had it going, and then we just had to focus on something else. But they were sitting so you there, these two, these two pollsters were sitting there, and they said, Sir, if George Washington came back and Abraham Lincoln was his VP, as opposed to Waltz, how bad is he, by the way? But if Abraham Lincoln was his VP, they couldn't beat you. And I'll never forget it. The following day, they said, something's happening in China, sir. Could we meet? I said, what's happening? People are dying. And it was all around the Wuhan lab, by the way. There are pictures with little lines, their body bags, all around. So we got hit with that. And despite that, we had the best economy.